we have a low socioeconomic status um, in our area and sometimes th these occupations might perpetuate low wage jobs. So we are trying to raise the bar so that we are bringing uh, STEM to our uh, county in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics so that our students can be prepared for higher level, higher wage jobs that, are, that can support a family, mm -hmm. family wages. Mm -hmm. And um, so STEM, our, our County Economic Development Agency, led by Greg Devereaux, our CEO, and Mary Jane Alasso, the Chief Administrator, and our County Superintendent of Schools are now working together in aligning common, common goals, a common agenda, and identifying what are the success indicators from cradle to career, uh, very much like a, the Strive model in Cincinnati, but this is, of course, we're a larger mm -hmm. um, area, and identifying those success indicators so that we can all work together and go in a common uh, direction and agenda and have shared measurements so that we can be held accountable and then are supporting one another and communicating with, with, with one another. Mm -hmm. So I think the the unique thing about um, the Inland Empire and our STEM initiative across both counties, a bi-county STEM initiative that that is very powerful is the sense that our our top leadership in our chancellor from University of California Riverside, our president from California State uh, University San Bernardino, our superintendent of county schools, and our CEO of our county economic development agency and our workforce investment boards are all talking mm -hmm. and are all agreeing that we need to establish a common agenda. And STEM has brought us together to accomplish that together. Um, we have a lot of work ahead of us, uh, but the fact that we are identifying a common work uh, is probably one of the um, uh, the, the biggest changes uh, in our Inland Empire uh, to uh, work across counties with a broad sector um, of stakeholders in order to solve complex problems.